Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Hair Really. This is Faisal, and my YouTube channel is about my hair transplant and eventually some other topics like hair tutorials and such. Um, but in this video, I want to talk about my four week update for my hair transplant and things I'm doing right now. So yeah, a little background um, about me and my hair. I started experiencing some uh, receding of my hairline, um, I would say three years ago, 2016, 17, I would say. And then I started watching like YouTube videos about hair loss, hair transplants and solutions. And I tried a lot of, um, you know, recipes and uh, natural oils and things like that. And it definitely helped, um, but it didn't bring my hairline back the way it used to be. So I decided to do a hair transplant to lower my um, f uh, hairline, basically. So I went to a clinic in Indiana, Indianapolis, where, you know, I reside. And uh, the name of the place is uh, We Grow Hair Indie. And, and I can't wait for the, to see the result. They told me um, I should start seeing like some growth on uh, month number three. But everybody's different, so I don't know. Um, and full result will be seen in like 12 months. So yeah, I need to wait till October. <laughs> which is, seems like a long time, but I'm sure it will fly by. Yeah, so I got it done, my hair transplant. I, uh, I don't know, it's hard to see in the sliding. I'm gonna try. Um, so yeah, I did here. It's a little bit red and I have some ingrown hairs. Oh, I thought something happened, just the flowers. Uh, okay, so yeah. Have some ingrown hairs and I don't know if you can see here so I did all this area I had more hair loss on this side than this side and this is this has been thin thinned a little bit so we did a tiny bit here but not a lot but when I brush it down or like you know do this it's hard to see what's going on here uh, right now, since my hair is short, this is unusual for me. I normally like to keep my hair long, longer, I would say. Like last year, my hair was like shoulder length and I kind of got sick of it and cut it shorter and played with my short hair for a while and I like that too. But I don't know, I think I'm gonna grow it out um, just for fun, see what happens <laughs> um, or you know just weird I guess so I'm gonna try grow it out and just do fun stuff with it and my hair is natural curly so maybe I'll do some be curly hair tutorials or maybe not I don't know we'll see let my hair grow first Right now, um, so yeah, I'm not doing much with my hair. Basically, I just shampoo, uh, dry my hair with a hair dryer, put a beanie, and then go to work. So, it's really cold here too. So when I, you know, leave, I just put my beanie on, and yeah, stay warm, kind of cool, and. So the shampoo I'm using now, it's this one, it's BioCleanse, normal scalp and hair antioxidant shampoo. So this one, it's, uh, I think, I think this one is P PDA approved. It's really good. So yeah, it helps cleanse and balance my scalp. It feels shiny. And sometimes I'll alternate with uh, scalp benefit from Scalp benefit from Aveda and the scalp benefit 
conditioner that comes with it. Massage it into my scalp. Uh, I don't know. Recently, my scalp is really dry and flaky. Flaking so much. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, maybe because of the cold, maybe because I moved to a new apartment, and the water is really hard, and I'm just getting like mineral buildup on my freaking scalp. I have to deal with it. But it does help. I feel like I don't have as much flakiness now. I do a little bit, but not a lot. And. I'm using this uh, Jamaican black castor oil. I kind of like put it in this applicator and I apply it into my scalp, the crown, the back. I haven't put it here on my hair transplant or my donor area yet because I don't know, I don't want side effects, I guess. Um, but I feel like, yeah, my hair is growing pretty, pretty well. It's growing a lot, uh, I, I think, in like four weeks, it just grew half an inch. Uh, so I think February would be like a good length, hopefully. So three months from today, I think I'll like the length. Uh, yeah, as far as like being in public, Nobody can tell if I had something done on my head. Nobody asks me, oh, what's going on with, you know, your head or blah, blah, blah. Nothing, nothing like that. And uh, my donor area is doing pretty good. It's pretty undetectable. I don't know, hopefully you can see it. If you didn't, sorry, I don't know. I can't see, <laughs> I don't have eyes here. Pretty much, that's all, I guess. Yeah, so, uh, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was interesting. There's not a lot of, um, you know, updates, you know, it's, it's kind of like boring right now as far as what's going on with my hair transplant. But I just I'm gonna keep doing updates. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, still give it a thumbs up because it's something nice to do. And uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you didn't subscribe already. If you don't want to sub, if you don't want to subscribe, still like subscribe because it's nice to be nice. Yeah, um, and it works for me too, so thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys on my next video. And, you know, stay cool, keep your hair happy, and rock and roll. Bye-bye.